Okay, so when me rating this hair, I'm gonna try to use like this rating system that I um, seen from a YouTuber named Shawty Watkins. I love her videos, so um, if you go check her out, she has some great reviews also. So um, she does like a one to 10 type scale on different categories about the hair. So I'll do that. I try to make sure I remember everything I can about the wig. Lately, what I've been trying to do as far as me reviewing hair, it's like to not do like initial reviews, like to wear it, work with it for a prolonged amount of time so I can give you guys my honest feedback. I'm a new YouTuber, a small YouTuber, so nothing that I'm doing is sponsored. So you can count that every review that I'm giving is going to be my 100% unbiased opinion about it. So you don't have to worry about me lying or saying something so I can get some free products because that just won't be the case. Everything I'm telling you guys is 100% what I've seen with my own two eyes. So, number one. Um, I got the wig from West Kiss Hair. It is the Jerry Curl wig. It has um, transparent lace. I got the 28 inch and I believe it was 300% density. I got the highest density that was available because I'm always skeptical when I order wigs from Chinese based companies because I don't know how um, how dense they would be and i'm really not into seeing hair at all so i always go for the highest density that i possibly can get when i order wigs because i'm, I'm just i don't know so i got the highest density which i believe was 300 percent the lace was transparent and the price i think was 338 and they had a discount code at the time and i think i ended up paying like 316 so i just checked the site recently and they have a discount code for all weeks so i think it's like five percent off so i believe it's gonna still be around that same price point like 318 something around that amount um it is 13 by 4 so you get 13 uh around the parameter and then four uh going back so i can't say that the measurements for that particular, like the front two measurements is consistent. I would give that a 10, which 10 is the best. So I would definitely give that a 10 that is consistent in that aspect. Um, the density, 300% density, I believe is either 250 or 300, but whichever one is listed as the highest, that's the one that I got. So I can say I, I do believe this week it's pretty dense and this hair is the way that i have it now is in its defined state if i do not wear this hair in a defined state this hair is humongous so i would give that a 10 also um for the density um the color is a natural color it's consistent with that i'll give that a 10 also it was a natural color it's like a more of a 1b it's not brown which i do appreciate because i do not like like color like wigs that look like a four i'm not with it i would like a two or deeper two one b one that's what i like i do not like four so with the color the color is what i want it to be i definitely would say it's like an off black versus a brown color as far as the texture of the wig, the wig is very soft. I did co-wash it initially when I first got it. Um, it does have minimal tangling in the nape, which I always anticipate with curly units. And just in general, like your, where your hair is rubbing it in the back, I just expect it to be some sort of tangling there. So. As far as the tangling and the texture go, I would give it like a seven because of the tangling in the back. But as far as detangling it, it's not hard at all. I finger comb it while it's wet and put whatever product I want to put on it and it defines it very well. I haven't had any issues with defining the wig at all. Um, what I used to define it, at first I was using the Nairobi and the B&B &B 
Nairobi was my least favorite as far as definition. I know a lot of people swear by it, but I think Nairobi is more so good when it comes to molding hair. So I did not like the Nairobi to define the curls and the wig. And then the B&B, &B, the B&B &B would be like my second runner up, but then I got some uh, Afro G. That has been my favorite in like, it laid the hair out, y'all. I mean, when I say laid it out, baby, I look like I was dripping, just got out the pool, honey. Like, if you look at my pictures that I'm going to post from my uh, my birthday photo shoot, that's when I first did the wig. Like, it was sleek. It was defined. It was soft. It was fire. So, my uh, suggestion to you, if you like the wet, sleek look, use the Afro G, wash it. Uh, put the Afro G on it while it's wet. Let it dry. It's just gonna be. It's gonna be it. it it's just gonna be exactly what the girls need for curly hair. Um, as far as the length goes, 28. I do believe that the length is consistent. What I am on the fence about, which I don't know if it is a con for me necessarily or what my video kind of cut off but anyway what i don't know would be a con for me necessarily when it comes to length is the front of the wig where the frontal portion is is shorter than the remainder of the wig now if you like layers and you love your hair to be layered then that would not be an issue for you at all if you're somebody who wants hair to be all the same length, even all the way around, that part would be an issue for you. The part, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. If you look at it, this is where the frontal part is. The frontal part is shorter. And I have the rest of it in the bun, so you can't really see that. But it is shorter than the rest of the wig. If you don't like layers, that can definitely be a con for you. I don't mind it when it's in its defined state. When it's not in its defined state, it bothers me. So, that's, uh, as far as the length goes, I will give it a six because of that one thing. But as far as the back length and how long it is when you stand and where it falls at, like overall, I will give it a nine. I think it's pretty consistent with a 28 inch. And I'll show, stand up and show you guys. So that's the back of the wig and then if I pull it all forward this is where it's falling it. Stretched out, not stretched out. That's what it's looking like. So yeah, that's my whole spiel on the uh, length of it. Then as far as the longevity goes, I've had this wig, when I checked my email, I had it since sometime in November. It is currently the end of March right now. I've worn, worn the wig multiple times. I've worn the wig at least 10 times at this point. Um, of course, I'm taking it off at night. This install, here's the first install that I used that I mean that I've done, that I've worn for multiple days. So I think I've had it in for two days now. That's the longest I've ever had it in. As far as like sleeping, I normally take my wigs off at nighttime. So I think like as far as the longevity goes and the amount of times that I've had worn the wig, the wig has done really good. So longevity, I would give it, um, I would give it a nine. I think it's, I. I haven't had any issues with the wig per se, but like I said, I'm not sleeping in the wig. I'm not, I have not strained the wig, so I cannot tell you about that part. When I get curly units, I'm getting curly units just to strictly wear it as curl. I'm not straining the wig or any of that. If I want a straight look, I would buy a straight wig. So whatever state my wigs come in, I normally keep it in that state, so I can't tell you about that part. But I can say that as far as like how long I've worn the wig, the wig has been bomb, consistent. I've haven't had many tangles. Um, 
there is some tangling to be expected just because it's curly hair. So as far as the tang tangling and shedding goes, I would give it about an eight. Cause I, like I said, it's a, I tang it tangles in the nape of the wig, but the, um, the overall tangling, it hasn't been very much. It does shed. Um, like I said before, I do not brush it. I just simply finger comb it and I finger comb it when it's wet. So when I do that, I am getting multiple strands of hair, but it's not like a lot to where I'm alarmed or that I think that the front school is going bald or anything like that. But it does definitely um, have some shedding going on. So as far as shedding goes, I would give it a seven, uh, a natural amount of shedding for a curly unit in my opinion. Then we come to what I dealt with with the company when I ordered from West Kiss Hair. So I ordered the wig, um, and when I ordered it, I ordered it in a 28 inch. So when I placed the order, I looked online, it said that it would take two to four, I mean, two to five business days to ship and get to you. So that's what I was anticipating, but it did take longer. So after the fifth day, I reached out to the company to let them know like, hey, I have not received my wig. It said two to five days on the site, you know, what's going on. They informed me that anything above 22 inches is considered a long wig and longer wigs take longer amounts of time to produce. They're not already like up and ready to be shipped like the, not like the shorter wigs are. So, if you're ordering a wig that's over 22 inches, do keep in mind that the turnaround time will be a little longer. Luckily, I didn't have anything planned to where I was like, oh God, I need this wig in five days or it's gonna be an issue. I think it took about eight, eight days for it to come to me, which wasn't bad. I just wish it was specified online that, hey, if you're ordering a wig, you know, that's longer than 22 inches, it's gonna take longer to produce. That was my only kind with that. But from my experience, y'all can know that if you get a wig longer than 22 inches, you're going to be waiting longer than five days, more than likely. So, I mean, it's up to you guys. It wasn't really an issue for me. So, with that being said, I think I would probably give it like a, a seven just because it was kind of like a, a misinformed type of situation. But definitely not a deal breaker, but you know, something that you will want to know about. Um, and then what else? I mean, the lace was transparent, so I put a little bit of powder on the lace. Um, it did say that it was pre-plugged. I didn't have any issues with that. I didn't have to pre-plug. I mean, I didn't have to pluck it or anything like that, so that was a plus for me. I give that a nine. The lace was fine. Give that a nine. Didn't have any issues with that. Um... I will say that it's big hair friendly in my opinion, and they do give you size options. I got the medium just because I didn't know if I, I didn't think my hair was big enough to need a large. And I was correct. So, um, small, medium, and large. So, it is uh, universal as far as the sizing goes. Um, but, yeah, I really want to wrap this video up now because I don't want it to get too lengthy. But, yes, my bottom line review for this wig is yes i will repurchase this wig i would recommend for you guys to purchase the wig if you like the way that it looks if you like how it's styled if it looks like something you'll be interested in i would definitely recommend it the price for a 22 inch i think is pretty reasonable i mean yeah overall i would rate the wig as a solid eight and why it's not a 10 because of the matting in the back, which can be, you know, anticipated. The shortness of the front, which won't bother some people, but it will, you know, bother some. So I'm letting you guys know about that. And that's pretty much it. And then the misinformation uh, about the shipping if the wig is over 22 inches long. But besides that, honey, I love the wig. I do feel like you know, it's a hot girl summer approved look. I mean, especially if you want a defined look, like it's popping. I mean, and it's affordable. 
I mean, what can you say? If it's popping and affordable, <sighs> sis, you gotta get on it. You gotta, you gotta get to it.